It is one of the best Hellenistic fortresses in Greece. Its location may have played an important role in the conflicts between Athens and Thebes. Built on a hill, it guarded the road that connected both regions and was the home of the god Dionysus. This is Adventure by Footnotes. I'm Esteban, your guide for today, and together we're going to explore the castle of Gistocastro, also known as the Fortress of Eleftheri, through the Eleftheron in Greek, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. Eleftheri is located in Greece, in the northwest of the Attica region, 50 kilometers from Athens and 20 kilometers from Thebes, on the historical border between Attica and Boeotia. The fort has an irregular rectangular shape measuring 290 meters long by 113 meters wide, with a perimeter wall of 860 meters. We are mainly going to explore the northern and western part, which are the best preserved and maintained. The rest of the archaeological site has fairly overgrown vegetation, which made it difficult for us to access. We will indicate our position in a diagram of the fort in the lower right corner, for the most curious. Its walls were built with a mixture of rectangular and polygonal blocks with very fine masonry and an average thickness of 2.6 meters. Its double main gate is located to the west, towards the old road. It had towers on all four sides, six of them still standing along the north side of the site, preserved up to a height of six meters. The towers were probably three stories high, with loop holes and openings for small catapults. There are two small doors located on the north side. Some stairs are also preserved, as well as rainwater drains. Traces of buildings were identified inside the fortification. Near the north wall, there is a temple from the 4th century BCE, 16 meters long by almost 9 meters wide, and it is attributed to Dionysus Eleftherus, Dionysus the Liberator, Liberator from sadness and pain. And now a bit of history. Eleftheria, like the neighboring Plataea, was an independent police on the border between Attica and Boeotia. Frustrated by the perennial belligerence and intimidation of the Thebans, the Eleftherians turned to Athens and offered to relinquish their independence in exchange for joining the Athenian polis. The Athenians initially rejected the offer, but after a play, and given the geopolitical importance of the city, the Athenians reconsidered the offer and finally they accepted and the cult of Dionysus was transferred to Athens by relocating a wooden statue of the god to a temple on the southern slope of the Acropolis.
Apparently, it should be possible to visit this site with the bus 861B that goes from Eleusis to Erythres. We'll leave a link in the description. Access is unrestricted and you can visit it 24 hours a day. To enjoy it, you'll need at least 2 hours. If you're visiting the area nearby, you will find Porto Germino, 20 km to the west, a beautiful coastal town, and the fortress of Egothena, the other best preserved fortress in Greece. And that's all for today. See you in the next adventure.